Well, how great was it to do the acknowledgement to country today at the Murray Court? Well, it was great to be here in front of all my um, cohorts from the Murray Court, although I haven't been on the Murray Court for a, uh, a year or so. Um, but yeah, it was great. When it was disbanded, um, and, and you have probably first heard about it uh, culturally, what, what did that mean to you, knowing that the Murray Court was disbanded? However, it was still under another name, similar. So, yeah, your thoughts though? Well, I didn't think it was the best outcome because, you know, it's all about keeping our mob out of jail and being there for the kids when they come through. When they see Murray's there, they sit up and take notice. And, um, yeah, it wasn't a good scene at the time, but I hope it comes back into um, force in the near future. And also uh, the role of the elders in the Murray Court, I mean, what about uh, in other areas for the elders? I mean, it's, it's, we only see them every now and then, NAIDOC week and so on, but I mean, they're so important to the community and that engagement with the young ones too, aren't they? I was walking down the street one day and there was two little Murray fellas walking along behind me and I heard one of them say, that's Auntie Valda. She's uh, one of the best elders in Brisbane. And I'm thinking, hey, where they get this from? But you know, people look up to you, especially young ones like that. And that made me so proud. And they probably saw me at the Murray Court and I probably gave them a little lecture and you know, told them to behave themselves in future because they're there for their children and their children after them. So they've got to make the stand now. And can you tell us what actually happens with the role of an elder in the Murray Court? Well, we walk in there and sit next to the magistrate and listen to everything that we see the run sheet of what's happened with that child. And um, so we get a good um, look at what's happened in his life. And sometimes you know those kids and you know exactly what's happened along the line to make them sort of veer off the uh, straight and narrow. But, um, and they, they love to see a black face up there looking at them, you know, and they frighten too, because they're frightened that they, you're gonna have a piece of them, you know, and um, we try to build them up, build up their morale and things like that. They think they're going in for the worst and um, you just gotta talk nice to them, tell them to um, make a difference in their life because otherwise they're going to end up in that big place out there, you know. They won't have the freedom that they enjoy today. And um, so I'd like to think it's made a difference to a lot of young people that I've met, in the, mostly young lads, not many girls, not many at all. And the elders that go in to be part of the Murray Court, do they need to have some sort of legal background or legal knowledge because of the process of the court? Well, just a little bit, I think they sort of have to have an idea of what's happening there. And if there isn't, they need to have uh, someone out there to get them all together and talk to them about what's happening. But usually you go to the, a room in the courthouse here and uh, they'll tell you what's happening, who's going through. And so you had a bit of a, a background of what they've been here for. So, um, yeah. And it's great to have it back? I think so. It is. And to see the support that's here today, all those people are interested in this Murray Court. And um, that lady who started it all, Di Fingleton, what a wonderful woman she is and what she's gone through in the last couple of years. But it's good to see her back again.